My name is Henry Glenner. I've been teaching ceramics, hand building, and small sculpture works for the past 10 years at Art Lab. My occupation was ceramics and small hand building through the years. My main income was from working with agencies and teams of artists to put product to agencies and large corporations. I would work with these teams doing preprints and reprints for newspapers and magazines. This way, I was able to go to school and also run a corporation called Gibraltar Printing, uh, where we would work with accounts like, let's say, the Green Book was one of the things we published. Uh, we would work with the Volunteers of America and large corporations and give them ideas for their advertising. These teams I worked with changed from time to time, depending on what type of publishing or printing was going to be done. Gibraltar Printing started in 1938 uh, through the Second World War, and I was a third generation who ran the corporation. Uh, it was wonderful through all those years to go to be able to go to school where I learned ceramics, advertising, and uh, different media that we see today as frontline advertising. In front of me, I have one of the sculptures I've done recently. It's mixed media. I've learned through the years that the wonderful thing about ceramics is that it has depth, it has height, it has length, and you can get into it. Your hands feel the piece so that this being a mixed media piece, I gave it a little bit of a human look. It has teeth. It has eyes. It has eyebrows. And look at the depth. It has hands. And I learned that hands have fingers, have fingernails. And even has a little bite here from where the beaver actually took a bite out of the piece of wood. So it's complete. But look at how you can have a complete 360 degree look in sculpture. Look at the depth. Painters and every and other parts of art, depth is a bigger problem. And I love to be able to teach individuals how to do depth and feeling. And Art Lab is really unique because we have our students' art show. That's you, the student, whether it's the clay work or painting or any other of the many different types of art we have at Art Lab can come and actually show their work at, no, again, no charge, no charge at all to show their work at our yearly art show. And if you think about it, by being on Staten Island and being the really only art school on Staten Island, we're near the ferry, there's plenty of parking, we have day classes, evening classes, classes for children all summer long. And for me, to be part of that organization, which has a strong, strong office staff that helps the individual who comes to the school and may very well have not done anything in art at all since high school or college and wants the right direction to what classes should I take, will sit down with you and we'll go over with you what you want to do. And that doesn't, have to, to, doesn't stop you from going to just do one class. It could get, you could take more than one class in a term. So if you want to do art in painting or art in sculpture, this wonderful uh, form of art that you can hold and touch 
and actually be part of the depth of art in sculpting, which is just something that you get the feeling of. You get the feeling of the clay, and it's part of you. And then for me to watch senior teens or adults take their pieces and look, and, and the, look at them and the smiles they have, and many of them say to me, Hank, I didn't know I could really do this. To me, to be able to make something like this, and I feel myself every time a new student comes in and starts working on the clay and the looks they have, because the look of something that you're doing yourself, something that comes out of your own mind, I'll direct you, makes me feel wonderful. So come down to Art Lab, take a look around, talk to our office staff, look at the classes, enjoy art, have fun, have a lot of fun. Thank you for your time.